Hey guys, if you've been to my channel before, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Uh, be sure to like the video, um, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, today is Loot Crate uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This one is actually the very, very last of the Harry Potter Loot Crate boxes. Uh, I did cancel this box, so this one is the last one, and it's pretty appropriate because this is the um, House Pride box. So uh, my very first box was House Pride, and my very last box will be House Pride. So I think that is some sort of uh, destiny, fate, something along those lines. So I think that's uh, that's pretty neat. I do enjoy that it's my first and my last box, so that's cool. Um, these are $38.99 a box, plus shipping totals at $44.99 uh, bi-monthly. So you may have noticed I said it's my last Harry Potter Loot Crate box. So Loot Crate, in all its diabolicalness, uh, created a new box. <sighs> and I couldn't say no to said box. And... I will, I'll get to it at the end, I guess. Um, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with everyone's favorite um, Merc with the mouth. I couldn't resist. Anyway, I'll get into that at the end here. So, uh, so this box, they've already incorporated the new um, logo for the second Fantastic Beast. Uh, film with all the the wands uh, It is the house pride box. So it has the uh, Sorting hat sticker so appropriate. I will say that uh, I Have been getting more and more disappointed if you've seen these videos before uh, You know that I've been getting disappointed. That is ultimately why I canceled this box um I was holding out because of the Horcrux pin line. Um, this one should have essentially been the last of the pins, but last box, they were like, we're gonna put this on hold and we're gonna do something different. And really, you can't you can't do that two pins from the end, like you can't. So um, I'm done waiting. Um, this is literally half the size of the boxes when I started. So the prices continue to go up and the boxes continually, the size of the boxes continually go down. So you're promised four to six items every month, but I think there has been one time where we've actually gotten five items. Every other time it's been four, minus one time where we actually got three, and it was probably the worst box that I'd ever gotten. So, or one of the worst, the Dark Hearts box, it was really bad. So, uh, get into this. So, cut the sticker and you'll see this, which I thought red for Gryffindor. I mean, it is red for Gryffindor, but I thought it was tissue paper, but it's actually a t-shirt, it looks like. So we'll uh, grab that first. So, looks like a Gryffindor um, crest or Gryffindor just symbol there. And it is a Loot Crate exclusive. So, I like that. I will, um, I will wear that. I'll wear that with pride. Uh, I will say the very first box that I ever got was House Pride, which I said. But it was also my favorite box out of everything that I've gotten. I have really high hopes for this, that even though the box is really small, that it will at least match. So I'm hoping to go out um, with just as much of a bang, I guess, as I came into this, that the, the House Pride box will be just as good as the first one. Fingers crossed. Uh, the second item is socks. Looks like a pack of two. So I've got, oh, I was like Slytherin, but no, okay. They're the Hogwarts Crest socks and then the Gryffindor crest socks. 
So these are cool. Uh, I will say, so this is Bio World. Um, a lot of Harry Potter stuff is made by Bio World. Uh, Hot Topic has a ton of Bio World um, product. Their socks, eh, they're incredibly thin. They're not very cushy. Um, I work uh, in a back room, so I'm on concrete all day. And being on my feet on concrete for eight hours a day, carrying big heavy things, um, non-cushy socks are no good. Like, these are bad. Wearing around the house, great. But I tend to buy a bunch of these because I'm like, these are so cool. And then they kill my feet. Uh, next thing is a Gryffindor patch. That's cool. Um, I have several um like molly capable or molly compatible uh, backpacks that i might be able to attach this to this actually looks like an iron-on so i don't know if i can make that compatible with it or not or just uh sticky some velcro on and boom there we go so i might be able to put this on my backpack rather than iron it on to something Another Bio World product. Looks like a pocket watch. Gryffindor line at the top with the Gryffindor crest. Okay, let's see if I can open this. Yep. And then it opens into a watch. It's just gold on the bottom. That's cool. I don't really carry a watch like this. I have my, my Apple watch. Um, this says it's a necklace. I definitely would not uh, wear that around my neck. I mean, some people might. That's that's a little too chunky for me. Last thing in the box is the pin. And what is it? The lightning bolt. Does it say something? Oh, it does say something. Neither can live while the other survives. I don't know if that'll focus on there or not. That's super cool. I like that a lot. I would almost call that the Horcrux pin for Harry, but I don't know. Because we're missing Nagini and Harry for the Horcrux pin line. And I did say something to my best friend about if they were going to do the Horcrux pin, Harry made sense to put it in everybody's house pride box. Um, but we'll say uh, what this says. They changed it up. It used to be white and now it's uh, black with the new Fantastic Beast logo. Still has the thing like it's a sealed envelope. So, Hogwarts House Pride 2018, whether you're brave, Gryffindor, clever, Ravenclaw, loyal, Hufflepuff, or cunning, uh, Slytherin, represent your house with this Hogwarts Pride uh, crate, new for 2018, uh, full of items for all occasions. So, it just says Harry Potter enamel pin. Lord Voldemort made eight Horcruxes. The only seven of them were intentional. Our exclusive Horcrux pin series continues with the Harry Potter's infamous pin. I'm a little annoyed now because that means I'm only missing one. Dang it. Well, hopefully someone's got it on eBay because I'm not, I'm not redoing this subscription for one box, hoping the Horcrux pin is in there. Whatever. Uh, which that pin was made exclusively for this particular crate. So Hogwarts Crest Socks, a wise headmaster once said, one can never have enough socks. Uh, we're honoring these words by including two pairs, this one featuring the Hogwarts School Crest. And then I assume whatever um, house you chose, the second pair will feature your house. Um, I guess they have it split into two. So even though 
this is actually one item because it's a two pack they decided to split it into two articles of thing like so now item number three is hogwarts house crest socks show off your house spirit and keep your feet warm and toasty with these colorful socks embolized with your house crest they listed a two pack of socks as two items this is one item so loot crate can't count or they're just trying to bulk up their item count i'm going to say they're gonna they tried to bulk up their item count a two pack does not get separated into two items. It's a two pack, which means it's one thing. Whatever. Uh, number four, or the fourth item in the box, which is truly the third thing in the box. Uh, Hogwarts house t-shirt. Embody the strength and power of your house's mascot in this stylish tee, uh, which was created exclusively for this crate. The fifth item in the box was the Hogwarts house patch. Add a pop of pride or house pride to your scarf, cloak, or other magical uh, accoutrement uh, with this embroidered house patch. Which again, if I can attach it to one of my Molly um, capable bags, I, I think that's where it's gonna go. And then the sixth item in the box is the Hogwarts house pocket watch. This intricate carved metal pocket watch features your house mascot on the face and outside where it is a watch or as a necklace and never be late again. The patch and the pocket watch were also exclusively made for the crate. So there is the um, list of stuff. I'm still... Uh, I don't know why I'm shocked, but I'm a little shocked that they put the Hogwarts crest and the house crest as two items when it came as a two pack. I'm, I don't know. So there's technically five items in this box. It's the second time we've ever had five items. So I've been with Loot Crate for, let's see, it is May. So I've been with them a little over a year. It was a year in February and We've gotten five items twice, this time being the second time. They've always ever given us just the bare minimum of items, which is four. Except that one box they gave us three and then it was a crap box anyway. Overall, eh, box, I am, I don't know. Like the socks are cool. That's a more, I'm gonna wear them at home. I won't wear them for long periods of time in the day. Uh, they're very thin. They're, they're decorative socks, they're not functional socks, if that makes sense. The pocket watch, which is cool, don't get me wrong, will never use this. Um, unfortunately, these are just not a thing anymore. There are some people who will use it, and I think this is, this is a cool thing for like cosplay, I think. And while i admire cosplay i do not cosplay because i am not creative and cannot make my own costumes if i could i would cosplay but that takes um an intelligence i don't have a creative like mind that i don't have money that i don't have it takes a lot of things i don't have the patch which again is super cool i will hopefully be able to attach that to my backpack. I do enjoy how it's got the Quidditch pitch up here with the snitch. I didn't see that the first go around. Um, I'm just noticing it now, but I do really like that. So that's cool. I do think that's neat. I, I will say as silly as that is, this is probably one of my favorite things in the box gonna say it's the third and it's probably the second favorite thing in the box my first favorite is the shirt I really like this so this one's my favorite thing the patch is the second so this is my third favorite uh, it's my third favorite because while I like it I'm equally frustrated by it because 
by putting this in the box, it means I literally am one pin short of a full Horcrux pin collection. I'm missing Nagini now. Uh, but it's not worth $45 for me to wait. Uh, the next crate I think is Magical Creatures, which is why it makes sense that they're going to put the Nagini pin in that box. Uh, I guess if I would have thought about it uh, when I was looking at it the other day, that they're going to finish it with the Magical Creatures box, I'm, I'm just not going to... I'm not doing that. So anyway, that's the box. Um, I'm not unhappy with it, but it's not, it's not near what the first one was. Uh, it's not the worst I've seen by far. Uh, it's also not the best I've seen. So I'm not unhappy with it. I'm glad that that's the box I got for the last one going out as it wasn't terrible. But it also reaffirms my decision that I made a correct one when getting out of the Harry Potter line uh, for Loot Crate. Saying that, that's a segue into what I am getting into uh, for the next Loot Crate box. So if you've seen any of the other videos, I w made the announcement that I was getting rid of all my current boxes because I'm doing Magic at Your Door, which is a, um, I'm going to call Artisan Disney box. Uh, I don't know what else to call it. It's probably not artisan, but it's it's a person or a family who puts these boxes together and then ships it. So it's not like a like a big corporation like Loot Crate. It's a smaller business, a family, you know, whoever. I assume they're based out of Florida because they can get a hold of all this stuff. It's like eighty dollars a month, and with all my boxes combined, plus the eighty dollars, I couldn't afford all of it. So it was one or the other. So I got rid of all the other boxes. So my first Magic at Your Door box should come next month, which is June. That being said, when I logged into Loot Crate to cancel the subscription, I had also gotten an email almost instantane. It was weird. Um, it was like Br Big Brother was watching and they were like, you're going to cancel, like don't do it. So I got an email about um, the Deadpool Merc Club box. They're just coming out with it. And it's not an every month thing. It's not even an every other month thing. It's an every quarter thing. So it comes out every three months. It's the same price as uh, this one, which was the $44.99. So I'm going to read the email here, or what it is. So Deadpool Club Merc, uh, official and original Deadpool gear delivered quarterly. So get an all new, all different bundle of Deadpool collectibles, home goods, and apparel, and more delivered to your door uh, four times a year. And then of course, Deadpool Snark is guaranteed human contact. Not for me because it gets delivered in the morning and I'm at work. So it's $34.99, again plus shipping makes it $44.99, but it's every three months so it's not as bad. And then... Uh, it is delivered four times a year, so this calendar shows January, April, July, and October. Um, you can buy the box until, or, well, it says deadline is June 30th, so I assume that means the first crate starts in July. And um, their incentive of, like, getting this going is you can pre-order the first four boxes, which is the first year. And if you pre-order the first year, which is what I ended up doing, uh, it was actually relatively cheap, it seemed like. It was $151 and some on change. Um, if you pre-ordered the first four boxes, again, makes that's the first year of boxes, you got a free um, exclusive gift at the end. So, um, free gift, like, why not? What's inside? It says four to five official Deadpool items. It says $60 plus um, MSRP value in every crate. And there's a license and original collectibles, gear and apparel and more. And then it goes, the love you've been chasing your whole life. Probably not, but you never know. So the first crate is theme Bite Me. And then it says, Shh, our taco single senses are tingling. Take home our tasty gear related to stuff you stuff in your Merc uh, with a mouth hole. 
including a stylish t-shirt you can't get anywhere else. Uh, order by June 30th at 9 p.m. Uh, PT. So I think it'll be fun. As disappointed as I have gotten with the Harry Potter crate, I'm a little bit like unsure about the Deadpool stuff, but I absolutely love Deadpool. Uh, if you haven't seen the second one, go see it because it's good. Um, the soundtrack is amazing. Uh, the first soundtrack was good too, but uh, yeah, so it's one of those like, I absolutely love Deadpool. I've loved Deadpool for quite some time, uh, even before the movies came out. Ryan Reynolds is the perfect Deadpool, or at least in my opinion, and I couldn't pass up the Deadpool box. And for $150 for four boxes, it's a risk I was willing to take, I guess. So we'll see. I'm going to hope that the first box is in July then. And then that'll just be my rotation. The first box is in July and my last box will be uh, in July next year. And then um, I'm going to assume it's not... Um, just for a year it was just they were trying to drum up interest and if you signed up for the first year or pre-ordered for the first year you got the gift and then it's going to continue so i'm only locked in for the first year and if i don't like it after that i'll uh, unsubscribe to it if it turns out to be amazing and throughout the four boxes it continues to be amazing i might stick with it we'll see I'm hoping with every three months it'll give them a little bit more time to prepare and maybe it won't be sort of the crapshoot that the Harry Potter box turned out to be. I have Deadpool uh, coming hopefully in July. I have a box that's coming from the UK if it ever freaking shows up. Uh, I'm coming up on three months now since I have ordered it and she's assured me that it shipped and it should be here any day and that was two weeks ago. Um, I'm not impressed with that already. Uh, let's see, I didn't cancel survival boxes fast enough, so I will have one more of those for next month, and I have regular geek gear, uh, one more of those that'll be at the end of this month. Uh, what's today? Uh, I should have it, I guess, within the next couple weeks or so. So, um, I'll have two more of my regular boxes and then hopefully I'll be able to start fresh and get going with the new ones uh, come next month. So I'm pretty excited with the new stuff and hopefully you are too. And yeah, I guess let me know uh, what you think about this House Pride box. Um, if you have the Harry Potter Loot Crate box, what are your thoughts and feelings on it? I've been pretty disappointed the whole time. Uh, I would have canceled it probably a long time ago if it hadn't been for the Horcrux pin uh, set and then my determination to see it done. Um, I, I finally have just given up. I'm again a little annoyed that I'll be one short but thank god for eBay I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna hope it's there and finish it that way. I'm completely over it at this point. Anyway, so Magic at Your Door is coming, the one from the UK is coming, maybe, at this point I don't know. Uh, eventually the Merc with the Mouth, the Deadpool Merc box is coming. I have one more survival box, one more Geek Gear, and then I think that is it. Like, then we'll swap over to only the Deadpool and only the, um the magic at your door, so it'll be pretty exciting. But, yeah. I think I've rambled long enough. I keep losing my train of thought. Finding it, losing it, finding it. How you lose a train, I don't know. It's Saturday. Anyway, so, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!